bonnie boat like a bird on the wing On with a sailor's cry Carry the lad that's born to be king O'er the sea to sky Loud the wind howls, loud the waves roar Thunder claps when the air Baffled our foes, stand on the shore For they did not dare Oh sweet funny boat Like a bird on the wing Born with a sailor's cry Carry the lad that's born to be king See that? We're taking on water. We need a safe harbor now. It's only something I don't already know. I can't see a thing! I figure any port in a storm! Do you have any idea where we are? No. But we have to make repairs. We can't do that at sea. I'm not sure I like this. You say that every time we make an uncharted stop. Yeah, and with good reason. Dubar! Get going with the repairs. I'm gonna see about getting us some help. This looks promising. Oh boy. Hello? Not much of a welcoming committee. Stranger, I am Badura, and that is Ishmael. You must be hungry, thirsty. As a matter of fact, what brings you to the City of Mist? My ship was blown here by an ill wind. I seek strong laborers with, well, good hearts. Ah, in other words, you're broke. Yes. Are you a man who trusts in luck? I've been known to benefit from good fortune. Oh, well then. Perhaps you'd enjoy a quick game of high card with Ishmael. It's very simple, really. The deck is shuffled. The betters bet against you. You pick a card, announce it. Then Ishmael picks a card. And if your card is higher than his... I win. You're a stranger here. Yet so clever. Yeah. I am worried about him. Something's wrong. I want you to go check on him. <laughs> you are too kind. Yet, I don't have anything to wager. Have you heard of the term collateral? He has a sword. Oh, I really couldn't bet with this. Well, uh, how about that rainbow colored bracelet? That's very pretty. Uh, I'm afraid I couldn't bet that either. Your knife? I don't have one. Your shoes? <laughs> who would, who would want... Don't feel. The man bets his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Who will shuffle the cards? I will. There. I've put my boots on the table. Who will bet against me? And with what? They will wager the jewel of the city. That sounds impressive. Might I use this jewel to purchase laborers as well as supplies for the ship? Let's just say you've never seen a jewel like it before. Our whole town revolves around it. Now, pick a card. The three of dragons. I guess it's just not my day. And now it's my turn. Um... Uh, um the two of weasels. You win. I won? <laughs> Behold, the jewel of the city of mist. Her name is Serendib, and you will need the luck of the gods to deal with her. Rangar, let's go prepare the other shore boat. Saren? How'd you come to be in the City of Mist? I'm an orphan. I came here with my keepers. Look! Now that's strange. <laughs> Excuse me. I seem to be trapped here. Here we go. Greetings, spirits. Uh, we mean you no harm. But the demon guards, they keep us here. Maybe they'll listen to reason. Maybe not. Those stones, they're magic? They're just a few things I play around with every so often. Well, I'm glad you have such toys. Well then, I should go and find some supplies. Little brother! <laughs> At last! Where have you been? <laughs> we started to worry when you didn't come back last night. Last night? But I've only been gone a few hours. Sinbad been gone for a whole day. What's going on? You see, there was this bet. I'm not sure I want to hear this. <clears throat> Sinbad, aren't you going to introduce us to your little friend? I'm Serendib. Pleasure to meet you, my dear. I'm Farouz. How are we going to repair the ship? 
How bad is it? Bad. We'll never sail out of the harbor unless we make some serious repairs. Hmm. Farouz, you're the master of unconventional solutions. What do you suggest? Our only alternative is to march to the forest of cedar beyond this town. We cut down trees and make our own lumber, since you provided us with neither supplies nor help. What can I say? As it is, I'm lucky to be alive. If Serendip hadn't dispatched a demon with her magic... She uses magic? Just a little. Can you repair the hull of a ship? No. Well, if we don't make repairs to the Nomad soon, we're going to be sleeping with the fishes. What do you suggest? How are you at cutting lumber? Well, I'm certainly glad we didn't leave anything aboard the ship. The forest is right beyond the town. It's just a little further. You may not know it, Serendip, but many people would envy you. Right. No, I'm serious. Different people have different strengths. Some people have the ability to communicate with words, with song, with art. Some people have the ability to heal. You? You have a powerful gift. It will take great patience to learn how to master it. All I know is every time I use it, something bad happens. How long have we been walking? Long enough. Why? We're still in this wretched little town. It doesn't appear very large, nor very populous. And didn't we pass this sign just minutes ago? I'm not sure. Quickly, down this alley! Markings on the wall. It's witchcraft. Well, it's certainly unusual. I don't like this at all. Serendip? Do you know what's going on here? You might as well just go and leave me here. Don't be ridiculous. Nobody's going to leave anybody. Right, Sinbad? Right. There's no use. You won't be able to return to your ship. You're trapped here, and I can't help you. The streets of the City of Mist lead only to themselves. That's what my keepers told me. So the entire city is cursed? What, you mean we have to stay here for the rest of our lives? Not necessarily. Serendip, the curse? The streets of Mist lead only to themselves. Before this city, was there another city here? Uh, ruins, maybe? Yes, that's what my keepers told me, but that was hundreds of years ago. Sea towns often built catacombs underneath the villages to serve as escape routes in case of pirate attacks. No one's ever thought of that before. But it's blocked. Not for long. I wonder what's on the other side. It's what's on the inside that worries me. Seems we weren't the first to use this as an exit route. Try to. So close to the opening of the passage. What are you doing? Counting the paces. I figure 1,000 paces puts us right in the middle of the passage. <laughs> then that means we've got as far to go as we've come. Look! It's a cavern! Oh! Just 
too many skeletons in here for my liking. She packs quite a wallop. I'm here for the girl. She, she isn't here. I really don't appreciate insolence. Where is Serendip? Your pardon. She's gone off with a, with a sailor. A sailor? Who is he? What is his name? I believe his name was Sinbad. Sinbad? Here? And you let her go off? She's at that age where I can't control her anymore. She has a mind of her own, and her powers are growing every day. I really don't care about your family problems. Where did the girl go? She escaped? Impossible. My spell prevents escapes. Perhaps the Simbad was unaware of your power. How long ago did they enter the passageway? A few hours. Good. I still have time to play. That's all we've got. Sea rations. I'm not hungry. Well, you should eat. Who knows when we'll get another chance. <clears throat> You're right. It's not very good. Why are you being so nice to me? It's a flaw in my personality. 
You probably haven't met many people who are, well, nice. My keepers are nice. They seem to like me. Sometimes, I think they even want to help me. I frighten them, though. You're a young girl. How could you possibly frighten adults? It's the power. It's always a part of me and always trouble. All it's done is make my life miserable. I'm sorry. She seems so lost and sad. Poor little thing. I feel sorry for her. She has powers she can't understand. But so did you at her age. No. No, I had to be trained. And I'm still learning. Saren Dib. She's a natural talent. I knew you of all people would understand how lonely she must feel. How different. I can't even begin to imagine her sense of total isolation. Maeve, I don't mean to seem foolish. But that girl and her powers make me very nervous. You have every right to be nervous, Duvar. Whatever's going on in this spellbound land, she's the reason for it. Sarah Deep, do you like beads? Go ahead, they're yours to keep. They're beautiful. No one's ever given me a gift before. Well then, uh, all the more reason to enjoy it, eh? That's not really necess necessary. What? I was just admiring your your sense of purpose. You just let us through a maze without a doubt whatsoever. Is that what it looked like to you? Should have been an actor. Why do you say that? Because most of the time, my sense of purpose amounts to the feeling, gee, I wonder what would happen if I tried this. <laughs> it's amazing what you accomplished that way. I can't believe that with all your years at sea or previous adventures, that anything could surprise you. I'm surprised every day, Farouz. It's half the fun of living. And the other half? I'm wondering what's gonna surprise me next. Look out! Come to me, my little protege. Come to me. Ah! Took her. It's as if the wind itself had snatched her away. Is that the girl's? She must have left it here for us, so the demon would not possess it. Poor kid. It's all she had in the world. Sinbad! Slow down! You don't even know where you're going. Of course I do. After the thing that took the girl. And where is that? Dubar's right, Sinbad. That demon could have taken her anywhere. So we simply search until we find her. That girl tried to help us. She saved my life. She probably saved all yours as well when she allowed herself to be taken. Brother, we're up against powers we don't understand. Why is Serendip so special? Who is she? What is she? And what demons are pursuing her? Well, I, for one, want some answers. And once we find Saren Dib, we find out the secret to the City of Mist. I've never heard scientific curiosity expressed better. As for Saren Dib, I can assure you that despite her great powers, she's still a young woman, not a witch of some sort. And how did you deduce that? The first dictate of logic is observation. And I'm a man of observation. And I'm a man of action, so let's act. Then let's proceed with the plan. We have a plan? Certainly. We find Serendip, rescue her, repair the ship, and sail away. Not one of his more detailed plans, but you get the general idea. I gave you a single task. 
Raise the girl. Keep her from harm. She may be my key to achieving ultimate power. I put a spell on this town to keep her here. And what do you do? You allow her to escape. Open it. I'm expecting a delivery. Oh, my, my. Look what we have here. You've gotten so tall. Can she talk, do you think? I can talk. I can walk. I can whistle. Want to hear? Perhaps it's time you go away with me. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, do you expect Sinbad to rescue you in the nick of time? He might. <laughs> I'll deal with Sinbad. But first, before we go, can you tell me where he is? Why don't you use your powers and find out? Now, is that any way to talk to your only benefactor? Why don't you help me? Because you're evil. Who told you that, your keepers? Have you taken a look in the mirror lately? Your powers are very resilient, Sandy. They're very strong for someone so young. But untrained. Unequipped. But with me as your tutor, eventually your partner, together our powers will be amazing. Join with me, Serendip. Help me defeat Sinbad. No. I'll never help you. Either you help me, or I'll stunt your growth permanently. <laughs> I'll deal with you later, my pretty. Badura? Ishmael, what a disappointment you have been. Consider yourself lucky that I must conserve my energies to defeat Simbad. Your destruction will just have to wait. <laughs> a reason for us returning here. Hey, look! Is it Serendibs? Yes! The demon brought her back here? I wonder why. Hmm, what's this? Ah, please! Duvar, admire your beauty another time. A mirror. Yes. Where did it come from? The silver piece of glass was in Serendibs' bag. I fastened it to a board because... I think you should put the mirror away, Faroos. This doesn't look like the welcoming committee. Idea. Would it involve us getting out of here? No, not really. Actually, it involves... Hold that thought! No! Oh. 
shut now. Sinbad, take a look at your opponents. I can't see any of the attackers in the mirror. That's because they're not real. They're illusions of some kind. Well, they certainly don't hit like illusions. What difference does it make? Some of them are real. And? Have you ever heard of the concept of... God, the key! Oh, now what? What the rose means is... Whatever affects the real person... affects the shadow as well! Well, I've never seen the principle demonstrated more impressively. There must be very strong magic behind it. Wonder whose magic? I think we're about to find out. Don't bother. Now I know who's behind all this. Hello, Sinbad. You managed to defeat my shadow warriors. How do you think you do against us? What do you want? Sinbad, so blunt. Where's your light and romantic touch? Well, I'd like to buy you dinner sometime, but this doesn't seem like the time or place. Oh, you don't like my little city? I guess I've only seen the depressed sections of town. Well, I rather like it. You see, we're a bad match. We just don't agree on anything. <laughs> Shut up, dear. I thought you liked us. She made me help her. You don't have to serve Rumina. You're strong. I don't think I was talking to you. No, you were talking to me. I think you were just about to say how you would be kind enough to let Serendip go. Serendip is my protege. I, I couldn't possibly give her up. Unless. Unless what? Unless I was to receive something in exchange. We're stranded sailors. We have nothing but what we carry in our damaged ship. I think I know what Romina wants. Or shall I say who? What are you talking about? I'll trade myself for Serendip's freedom. Don't trust her, Sinbad. What do you say, Romina? I'm the one you really want. Would I have your word of honor? My life for Serendip. Done. Uh, our daughter will be even more powerful, and our son unstoppable. Don't be too shy about saving me, okay? And as for you, little one, I think it's time we neutralize your powers. I wouldn't want you being a constant threat to my newly found happiness. No. <laughs> Leave her alone, Romina! I said, ah! Dora, Ismail, I give you fair warning, which is more than you deserve. I guess we're not hanging around the city of mist. No, I'm taking you home. Do you find me desirable, Sinbad? In a suicidal kind of way? Oh. What's that all about? I don't need this city anymore. I'm collapsing my spell. Everything in it will revert to its original state. Which was? Dust. What about my companions? Hmm. I hope they managed to leave in time. Uh. Sinbad! Where are you, little brother? Open 
anyone's bright ideas. Assuming we can actually get out of here, where are we gonna go without Sinbad? Can't you just go home? I'm not going anywhere without my little brother. This whole place is about to come apart! Uh, where's that leave us? Some strata, I suppose. We can stop this. What? Rumina's magic. Together, you and I can fight it. She took all my power away. No, Serendib, the power is part of you. It's who you are. No one can rob a person of who they are. Here we go. And it was such a complicated spell, too. Why not leave it, Romina? Let people from miles around come to admire it. Simba, magic has its price. And as long as the City of Mist exists, well, I can only cast small spells. You know, you're beautiful when you're conjuring. Simba, there'll be plenty of time for that later. But first... What kind of magic is this? I should have known better, Sinbad. This isn't going to make things any easier for you. Now to finish the city once and for all. Sashe, Sashe, Sashe. <laughs> it looks like your spell's a little too poop to pop. I don't believe it. You should be at sea or dead. I can hardly believe it myself. Neither of you has the strength to copy my spell. Quite true. I see. You little traitor. I won't let you hurt anyone else. Even you two aren't that powerful. You did try once before, didn't you? You can't stop me. Maybe. Maybe not. Sir Deep? I say we try. To retreat, Romina? You said yourself, I have a lot of power for someone my age. Give me a break. I'm just warming up. I've always wanted to try my hand at magic. I guess this is as good a time as any. Oh, Romina! Not now! But I bring you precious stones! Fine, then. You little pebbles are quite unique. The city belongs to you. You sustain it. Then see how long your powers will last. And as for you, next time, I'll do the kissing. This spell casting is like eating peanuts. Once you start, <laughs> it's hard to stop. Dubar, the ship ready to set sail? Provisions are all aboard, Sinbad. It feels wrong to leave you here like this. Oh, I don't know. The few tricks I can make this town look really pretty. Gardens, trees. Ishmael and Bedora would like a farm. 
But Romina said as long as your spell keeps the city alive, you won't be able to perform any other magic. One spell at a time is enough. You've matured a lot in a very short time. Thanks to all of you. I'll always remember you. I'll always have your gifts. We'll miss the tide, little brother, if we don't sail now. All right. I'm amazed we got out of that one alive, man. I thought only those with the gift could use sorcery. Yet Sinbad was able to use those rune stones successfully. Sailing with Simbad is full of surprises for Bruce. Hmm. <laughs>